Now let's see how to uh, perform interpolation and generate the interpolation polynomials using what's known as the uh, Newton's uh, method. Uh, previously, we used uh, uh, general polynomials, then generated a, a set of equations that could be solved for the coefficients of the polynomial. In Newton's method, we are going to propose a way that uh, um, can generate the same polynomial in a little bit different way, uh, but without having to uh, set equations or uh, solve them. This way is more or less like uh, the Taylor's ex expansion, uh, but uh, uh, instead of using uh, the uh, derivatives or differentiating, uh, like in Taylor expansion, uh, uh, the uh, Newton's method introduces something more or less like uh, uh, numerical differentiation into the uh, problem. Um, for a two-point uh, interpolation problem, you have x1, y1, x2, and y2. Uh, so you may propose a linear interpolation function. Let's uh, uh, propose it in uh, this way. Uh, y is equal to a constant plus another constant multiplied by x minus x1. It's as if we are measuring our x starting from this point. So uh, now uh, this is uh, kind of like the slope. Uh, and the constant b0 uh, is uh, the value uh, that uh, is uh, you know, the constant value of the line, uh, which can be, of course, uh, added to b1 min uh, sorry, minus uh, b1 x1 to get the y-intercept. Anyway, uh, so it's it's again a, a linear interpolation function, but uh, looks uh, a little bit different. Now, if we substitute y1 and x1 into the equation above, we get uh, y1 equals b0, or actually the unknown b0 uh, is equal to y1. Okay, let's go with the second point. When we substitute y2 and x2 into the equation, uh, we will get a relation uh, that gives us b1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. As you can uh, see here, this is uh, like the slope of the line. This is actually the slope of the line, uh, or the derivative uh, dy by dx uh, in an approximate way. Uh, of course, in the line, uh, the approximate way will generate the exact solution, but if it's of a higher order polynomial, uh, this is an approximate uh, value for the slope. Anyway, uh, l let me uh, not spend much time uh, talking about uh, approximates. This is now we are going straight forward, substituting y1, x1, and y2, x2 to get the unknown coefficients b0 and b1, just like what we did in our uh, general interpolation uh, method. Finally, you end up with uh, y equals y1 times uh, this slope term times x minus x1. You uh, can uh, use uh, the result above uh, to uh, find that uh, it's exactly the same polynomial uh, try to get this in the form of a0 plus a1x and see if the a0 and the a1 you get from this relation are equal to the a0 and the a1 uh, that you got from uh, the previous example. If we have three points now, uh, we will propose uh, a parabola, of course, uh, but in a little bit different way. Here, we will say that the proposed function, the proposed interpolation function f of x is equal to b1, or b0, whatever you call it, uh, b1 plus b2 times x minus x1, which is the linear part. Uh, but now we are going to add a second order part, which is b3 times x minus x1 times x minus x2. Let's start by substituting x1 and y1 you will get the same result as before, which is b0 is y1, and b1, uh, b2 here, sorry, uh, sorry for the notation here, it's b1 equals y1, b2 in this 
uh, equation equals uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And you can get the third constant, B3, as the difference between the slopes, as you can see here, difference between the slopes over the whole uh, distance, which is more or less equivalent to the second derivative. Uh, now you have those three coefficients. You can obtain them using a table. Uh, if you set your numbers uh, in uh, two columns, x and y, then you start by uh, using the first two y's and the first two x's to get uh, the slope of the first line. Then use the other two to get uh, the uh, slope of the second line. Now, uh, the third step will be uh, using those two numbers, the ones you got, you got here in this table, subtracting them and dividing them by x3 minus x1, which is the second derivative. Now you already have those three constants, b1, b2, b3, uh, in the first row, as you can see. So in general, uh, Newton's method can be, uh, or Newton's uh, interpolation method, can be written in the form f of x equals b0 plus b1 x minus x1, b2 times x minus x1 times x minus x2, and so on until you get the nth uh, term, sorry, the n plus 1 term, which includes the uh, x to the power n. Uh, so now you have those n plus 1 terms for a general polynomial. Uh, and uh, you can uh, use them to uh, generate uh, the um, constants, uh, just following the same procedure we uh, have followed before. Let's uh, see a third order uh, polynomial example uh, using four points, uh, x1, x2, x3, x4, and the corresponding y numbers. Uh, we want to interpolate a third order polynomial, of course, because these are four uh, points. Uh, using Newton's method, we are going to say, okay, now I have four constants, b0, b1, b2, and b3, and b0 is multiplied by 1, b1 multiplied by x minus x1, uh, b2 times x1 minus x, uh, x minus x1, x minus x2, and so on. Uh, now, uh, uh, Let's uh, simplify this by um, uh, substituting the numbers x1, x2, and x3 into our uh, polynomial. And let's see what happens uh, when we use the table to get those uh, constants. Now, uh, if you follow uh, the procedure we presented earlier, you're going to get uh, x. Uh, uh, so you're going to get b0, b1, b2, and b3 as all ones. Use them back into uh, the uh, polynomial. You will get f of x uh, looking like this. Expand the terms and then collect terms with the same powers. You will get the same exact polynomial that you got before when uh, we solved uh, four equations in four unknowns. The same like the other way. It's just simple algebra to move from this step to this step. So Newton's method here uh, generated the same polynomial, but he didn't solve any equations uh, in the way uh, to get that polynomial. Uh, you just used a simple table uh, and uh, used those uh, the table to uh, add uh, subtract and uh, divide some numbers, uh, you ended up with the solution that we were uh, looking for. So the real advantage now is that you didn't need to invert the matrix uh, to get the polynomial you are uh, seeking, uh, and uh, that's what made Newton's method uh, a very nice method. Another, uh, another advantage of Newton's method, uh, really, that uh, not found uh, or not written in most of the textbooks, is that you can rearrange the numbers in any way you want. And in the way, uh, as you saw, you're going to uh, get all the interpolation lines 
uh, between any two points, any two points you select, as long as you rearrange the, uh, the points properly. Uh, and if you want to use any intermediate level inter, uh, polynomials, like for example, not using a cubic, but using a parabola uh, between every uh, three, uh, every different three points, you can use this and uh, so on.